Hi guys, just gonna do a quick video on the SSR output of your rat rig uh, because the manual doesn't actually show you, which kind of sucks because you're building this printer and then you're wiring up everything and then you're like, oh, SSR, what do I do? Um, so basically you need to understand what an SSR is. Uh, it is basically an actuator uh, for AC. For example, the Octopus uh, V1.1 here runs on 24 volts. Now the bed heater runs on AC power. Uh, for me, that's 220 volts or 240 volts here in uh, South Korea. All right. Now, if you're gonna power the bed straight from the Octopus, uh, there's no way because this board runs 24 volts. So how do you turn it on and off? That's where SSR uh, comes. It's called a solid state relay. Whenever you have a smaller computer with smaller uh, voltage, such as 24 volts, sometimes it could be 5 volts, sometimes it could be 12 volts, uh, but you want to be able to run uh, and control AC 120 volt, 240 volt devices. So that's where the, the SSR comes in. Now SSR will usually have an AC output and then there'll be a DC input. So the DC input is where the computer, the octopus, is going to send signal. Right now it's on, you can see. Uh, it's sending it, it's, it's basically sending on signal, 24 volts basically, positive. Um, so you connect the plus and minus from the bed out from the octopus uh, V1.1 for the rat rig, all right? So right now it's turning it on, and what that does is that uh, it's, it's actually just connecting one of the AC lines. So you'll see here, one of the, the white line is from the my bed. One of them is uh, connected straight to neutral, all right? And one of them is actually connected to here. And um, the other side, it connects to live. So when this turns on, it basically connects these two lines. So one of the bed lines to line. And the other one is always connected to neutral. Now, when the solid state is on like this, it means uh, that the neutral and the live wire are now connected, um, basically giving power, AC power to the bed. Now, um, when the octopus and the clipper firmware will automatically um, turn off and on as needed, um, watching the temperature of the bed heater. So it's still on right now. Um, my computer, my, sorry, my printer is actually heating up and it's actually doing calibration. Once the bed heats up and it starts printing, it's going to turn off and on by itself. That's going to be all controlled by the clipper firmware um, running off the octopus. So when you wire this, it's very simple. One of the wires from the uh, bed is going to go straight to neutral, all right? And the other live wire, you're going to go ahead and connect it to uh, one of the AC points on the SSR and the other going out to the actual live, all right? That's pretty much it. Um, and I think sometimes you can switch the neutral and live, for example, if you're in a country like where neutral and live, it doesn't really matter. Most country, I think you can actually switch. Um, but yeah, for if you wanna keep it, I think textbook, I think live, you wanna go through the SSR and then neutral, you wanna connect it directly to the bed. Um, so that's how you should do it. And hopefully this helps. I'm not an electrician, um, but I'm just, I, you know, I used to work with a lot of electronics, so computer chips. But let's actually wait until this thing is actually heating up. It's actually uh, doing the, actually it might not turn off because it's just sort of turning off and on. I think the LED sort of stays on unless it's completely off for a few seconds. Um, but yeah, uh, that's sort of how you connect it. SSR, I'll try to have some diagrams. I'm gonna make a new site um, to help people build 3D printers and whatnot. Yeah, this wiring is a little messy, but I, I just wanted to get my uh, first printer up and running. I'm going to build a bunch of more. Have a great day. See you later.